What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to free up space on your iPhone without deleting any picture, videos or any file. On the official Apple website, you also say make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. If your iPhone is running out of space, that will definitely make your iPhone slow. Now let me show you guys how to free up space on your iPhone. Number one, let's go ahead and open my Fios app. It's right here, Fios, or oh, iPhone have this app, Fios, let's go ahead and open it. Then let's go ahead and click on Browse, right here. Now let's go ahead and click on On My iPhone. As you can see, we have on iCloud Drive, everything that is on the iCloud Drive is not on your iPhone internal storage. So let's go ahead and click on My iPhone. Everything you see right here is on your iPhone internal storage. So now let's go ahead and click on Downloads. As you can see, we have different uh, files right here. Those files, guys, you might don't know that you have on your iPhone. So basically, you don't need those files. So those files right now are using your iPhone internal storage. So that's one of the reasons why your iPhone is running out of space. What you have to do, let's go ahead and click on those three dots on the right side on the top. Then let's go ahead and click on select. Now you're going to select all the files that you don't need on this page. Let's go ahead and select all the files. Then let's go ahead and click on the trash can right here, delete. And that's the first thing you need to do. Then let's go back and right here, just make sure on those folders, you don't have like files that you don't need anymore. If you see some videos, photos, or any file that you don't need right here, just delete all those files. And by clicking on those three dots on the top, you can do the same process right here, select, and then let's uh, select all the files, the folders that you actually don't need. On your iPhone that will free up a lot of space so that's the first thing you need to do second thing you have to do let's go ahead and open the settings then scroll down until you see general then let's go ahead and click on iPhone storage all right perfect as you can see right here on this page you're gonna see all your iPhone apps but first of all you will see right here recommendation from Apple so those recommendations I recommend you to open it one by one and see what should you delete right here? So I have two movies. So if I want to delete them, just click on edit, select the movie and just delete them. So if you don't see the recommendation page right here, just scroll down. You will see all your iPhone apps. On this page, you have different way to free up space on your iPhone storage. All these apps have their um, data on the iPhone internal storage, okay? So basically, if you delete one of these apps right here, automatically you're gonna free up space on your iPhone internal storage. But what about if you don't wanna delete your apps? Unfortunately, on iPhone, you have to delete the apps and download it again for you to free up space by deleting their data. For example, guys, I'm gonna select Instagram. It's a social app, let's go ahead and open it. As you can see right now, this app is using 2.85 gigs out of my iPhone internal storage. It's a lot. So what we need to do now, we have to delete the app, delete the whole app, and then download the app again on my iPhone. That's the only way you can free up space. You can basically get rid of, of this um, data to free up space on your iPhone. There's no another way to do that, guys. Just click on delete app, just go to the app store, search for Instagram and download it again. So that's the only way to free up a space on your iPhone. And you're going to do that with almost all the apps that you see right here. But now guys, just make sure you do that with apps that you delete and you want it back on your iPhone. If you see apps right here that you actually don't need it on your iPhone, but maybe in the future you won't need it or the data that that app have. So what you have to do, you're going to click on the app. For example, let me see. For example, this one, numbers. Right here, I have two different actions. So I have offload app and delete app. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the first setting right here, offload app. So that will delete the app on your iPhone. But in the future, if you want to download this app again, automatically all the data going to be with the app. So you will not lose your data, okay, on the app. So you have two different choices. First of all, delete app. That will erase all the app data, but you will free up space. Second, you can click on the first setting, offload app. That will delete the app, but in the future, if you download the app, you will keep the data. After you do all that, I recommend you to turn off your phone and turn it back on. Just volume up, volume down, press the power button, 
turn it off if you enjoyed this video please drop a like don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notification and see you in my next video thank you for watching